Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kayla, Crafty Pen Pal Mama. So, for this video, I have an unboxing. Um, Liv's Craft uh, reached out to me and um, asked if I would like to choose some items and um, share with you all here on video. Um, so, I said yes, of course. And I wanted to share with you the dies that I picked out. Um, so, first, I have this flower die set, and uh, let me grab my ruler. So, you get these five pieces, and it makes a beautiful flower, um, and this is an adorable little centerpiece. You can layer, you know, these in different directions, or this with that, this adorable little leaf piece here, um, and then if you were to... Um, well, if you put the flower together and then put it on this piece, it makes a cute little, almost like an embellishment uh, banner type piece. So, this largest flower measures, uh, say, from the widest point to and a quarter by the same two and a quarter. And then this strip here is uh, two and seven eighths of an inch by three fourths of an inch yeah maybe a hair past three fourths of an inch so anyway um i cannot wait to make some flowers out of this and show you guys how it turns out you can see it's got beautiful embossing here on the flower petals it is going to be beautiful and um Oh, I haven't mentioned, but all the links to all of these items and the website will be linked in the description box. And they have also provided me with a discount code for you guys, so I'll have that information in the description box as well. And the next one I picked out is this lemon set. So it's got the cutout detail of the lemon, and then you can make a lemon, lemon front with that piece, uh, maybe even a shaker. I'm going to try that out. Um, and then this piece, it looks like a, you can see part of the lemon lay into the side. Um, I can't quite describe that. So I will have to show you guys when I cut it out. And this largest lemon is, let's see, two and five eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths of an inch. And then your smallest one here is uh, one and three fourths of an inch by one. I didn't have that lined up right, right at one and a half. So yeah, I will definitely have to put that one together and show you guys what I mean with that. Um, this is going to be a super good die to have in my stash. Some collections and things I have that are lemon themed. So yeah. And then the next one I chose was this background die. Um, it is, yes, I chose that one. Um, it says it's a spiderweb background die. And so you can go that way with, this, with it coming out or this way. Um, so, but you can see it has all these little inside pieces. So I'm not sure if that's needed to make the spiderweb alone or if those are extra pieces to make a shaker. You see, these don't have it, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out um, and see what see what we can do here. I'm down for it if it makes a shaker. <laughs> so this die from this direction is three and seven eighths of an inch by five and a half inches. That is going to be so fun for Halloween. And then the next one, um, I've seen something like this somewhere else. Um, I don't remember where, but it was similar. And then when I found this one, I knew I had to get it and give it a try. So it is a background piece. Um, but it gives you all these lines and holes, embellishment lines and holes to do stitching. All these really pretty designs and little flowers 
almost leaf like pieces it'll give you embossing lines and you don't have to use it with thread um but i am definitely going to try it with thread and see how that comes out and this one i think it's the same size yes it is three and three fourths of an inch by five and a half so yeah i am definitely can't wait to play with that one also and then this is another one I chose, um, and I'm going to be honest, I didn't realize it was going to be this big, but now that I have it, um, I'm really glad it is this big. I love it. Um, usually you see these, um, you know, little carts like this, and when you put them together, they're about this tall, um, <laughs> and that's like, okay, yeah, that's like three inches tall. Um, this one, let's see, from the bottom of the wheels to the top is five and three eighths of an inch so you can see a smaller one would be about like that so this is definitely a larger size one and then the furthest piece see, is this corner and then probably this little um, loop here i'm going to measure the top part so from there to there is five inches if you include that little tail that comes out, um, like a little hitch, that'd be five and a half inches. So it is super adorable. You get these little flower pots, and they have so much dimension, like embossing dimension in them. And see that one there? The wheels, the dimension, and then you get this piece to make a sign. And yeah, I cannot wait to play with this. And this is going to be good for any season. I love a dye that can be used in any season. So this is obviously, um, you know, flowers are really good spring dye. Um, but it can definitely be made up for Christmas or Halloween, summer, anything. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to play with this. I'm definitely going to show that one. And then um, there was a free gift. Yeah, I And this was the free gift they sent me. So it is a stamp set. And it's this, this girl and boy, Valentine's Day. He's got her a balloon. He's giving her a gift. Um, they're talking, and there's a heart above them. And then here, they're kissing. Super cute little stamp set. Um, the whole stamp set well, the, on the plastic is five and a half by five and a half. They're about one and three-fourths of an inch wide each little yeah so yeah that is my haul video unboxing for lives craft and um i will have everything linked in the description box including the discount code for you guys so don't forget to um go on down there and hop over to their website and take a look around and use that discount code when you check out that's all for this video i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye